dark and early. A few dozen people loaded onto a bus outside the sports basement in Berkeley this morning, heading north for what coordinators are calling one last hurrah this historic winter season. I mean, I have no idea what we're getting into right now. Uh, you know, it's going to be more water skiing, I think, than anything. But, you know, we waxed them up good, and I saw pictures, and, you know, off-piste is dirt. So, you know, we'll see. I mean, you know, but there's going to be a band up there and stuff, so it should be a good time no matter what. After the weekend of warm temperatures, somewhat of an odd sight, seeing snow bibs, puffer jackets, and sweatshirts. In fact, Sports Basement's outdoor program director, Phil Gore, says the company wasn't sure whether the Tahoe ski bus would take off. But they did. Three minutes to load and leave for a three hour drive. Destination Palisades, Tahoe. 70 to 80 degree weather uh, at a ski resort is not ideal for, you know, excellent snow conditions. Um, but, you know, it's something that, you know, we just deal with, right? And uh, we're just grateful to be skiing on July 4th weekend. Hitting the slopes this July 4th holiday is an option at Palisades Tahoe for the first time in more than a decade, at least on the Alpine side. A resort spokesperson says crowds continue to come and are invited to do so through the 4th. Music to the ears of those who don't want to believe the winter season is coming to an end. But powder in July is only proof of the outdoor adventures afforded to Californians. You go surfing at Ocean Beach in the morning, you know, go water skiing on the Delta in the afternoon, and make it up to Tahoe, put some turns in in the late evening. I mean, that's just California. That's how it goes. And though many anticipate snow conditions will be less than pristine, they're just happy to hit the slopes. Sold on the Tahoe ski bus, eliminating the need for any additional planning, pumping gas and holiday parking. Like, we don't have to drive ourselves, so it's like the best thing ever. So yeah. then we both don't have to like take shifts while driving. Groups left from the Sunnyvale and San Francisco locations as well. They leave Tahoe at 2.30 this afternoon. This will be the latest I've ever skied by a long shot. And, you know, it'll be one of those things, you know, you remember, remember when we went skiing on July 3rd? Yep, okay, you know, and we didn't have to hike, <laughs> you know, the lifts are open. In Berkeley, I'm Amanda Del Castillo, ABC 7 News.